I'm Robin, Pilates instructor and bar instructor from The Balanced Life. I'm super excited to be here on The Body Book this week. We've teamed up to bring you a new short Pilates workout each day of the week. So be sure to check back every morning for your energizing Pilates routine. Today, we're gonna start on our mats with a little extra focus on the abs. So have a seat right on your sit bones with your knees bent and your feet straight out in front of you. So you wanna to try to sit tall here. Watch out for rounding into your lower back. Lengthen up to the sky. Drop your shoulders down your back. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck your tailbone underneath you, round through your lower back, and just go until the point your arms are about straight. So you're just getting this round, deep C curve through your spine. Inhale there, and exhale to roll back up, sitting nice and tall. We'll do that about five times just to warm up the spine. Inhale nice and big. Exhale, slide your sit bones forward as you round through your spine. Inhale, pause. Exhale to deepen your abdominal connection and stack the spine back up. Good, inhale. Exhale, round. Inhale, pause. And exhale, round back up. One more time like that. Feeling that nice movement in the spine, just starting to breathe, transition into your workout. And round yourself back up again. Reach your arms straight forward and relax the shoulders on the back. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your tail round through your spine. Find a deep C curve that you can hold. So really pull your belly button away from your thighs. Relax the shoulders. Float your left knee towards your chest and place it back down. We'll do that 10 times, just floating and stepping. So we're staying on the left. Good, this is four. Exhale, five. Exhale, six. Relax those shoulders. Keep breathing. And eight. We're going to start to warm up those abs. Nine. Ten. Let's just switch sides. Float the right leg. And exhale. Good. Three. So you're trying to stay really still and strong through your center. And you just float that leg up with ease. And six. Good. Seven. Eight, last two, nine, and ten. Draw your abdominals in, round up. Sit tall, take your hands to your knees, and bring your heart forward in your chest, just to give yourself a little opening through the chest and shoulders. All right, from here, rolling back again, finding that round curve. You're going to float your left leg up. Hold it there. Float your right leg up and try to hold this position. So we're actually in a C curve right now. Your belly button's drawing away from your thighs. You're gonna tap your left foot down and up. Right and up. Good, you've got that long curve of the spine. Abdominals are drawing in. You're breathing nice and steady. Down and up. Tap and up. Good, shoulders nice and relaxed on the back. You can do it. And breathe. Good. Let's do one more set. And last one. Good. Place both feet down. Roll yourself up to seated. You're going to straighten your legs in front of you. From a nice tall spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck your tail underneath you. Roll back one vertebra at a time. Line your whole body back. The arms come overhead. And we inhale to come back up. Exhale to lift up and over the legs, stretching through the hamstrings. Here we go again. Tuck your tail and around back. Arms come up. Inhale, head, neck, and chest. Exhale, lift up and over. Good. So if you can't do this quite yet, try tucking or bending your knees to tuck your tail on your way down. Good. And if that doesn't work, you just go as far as you can on the way down. And then just come right back up and keep working on it. Try squeezing your inner thighs. That's going to help a little bit for control. And inhale. And exhale, lifting up and over. Get that nice stretch down the back of the legs. Here we go again. Tuck your tail with control like someone was holding your arms. Beautiful. Nice flexible spine. Inhale. Exhale, lift up and reach over beyond your toes. 
We're gonna do three more. Squeeze those inner thighs with control. Good, nice stretch of the arms, inhale. Exhale to peel up and over. And slowly articulating back. You're doing a great job. It's okay if you need to work up to this, if you need to practice. Good, stretch beyond the toes. Last one, we'll try to make this one our best one yet. Inhale, and exhale. Let's just stretch over those legs. So give yourself a nice stretch down the back of the legs. If that's too much, just walk your hands up your legs a little bit. Do what works for you and your body. Especially in the morning. We're all stiffer in the morning, so give yourself time to warm up. Don't force anything. Just work with where you're at. Listen to your body. Good, scoot forward on your mat. Lie yourself all the way down onto your back. Knees bent, arms resting right by your side. Take a minute to open up across the collarbone. Release any tension you're holding on to. Take an inhale and as you exhale, flatten your back, roll up into a bridge. So in Pilates, you want your bridge to be a straight line from your shoulders out to your knees. So your hips should be higher than your ribs. It's not like yoga, where you like to push your ribs to the ceiling. Keep them closed, abdominals controlled. Roll down through your spine one vertebra at a time. Let's just do two more like that. This is great for your spine in the morning. We'll way to get the blood flowing and loosen everything up. Melting down through your spine one vertebra at a time. Good, one more. Rolling up. Press into both feet, reach your knees forward over your toes, and roll down. Good, take your right knee to tabletop. Bring your other knee to meet it. Gently grab behind your thighs, nod your chin towards your chest, curl up and drop your shoulders away from your ears. We're going into the hundred, so you can either leave your knees here or straighten them out. We're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, in, out, two, three, four, five, really pump those arms. Good, you can raise your legs if this bothers your lower back. Just bring them up a little higher, or if you're feeling good, keep them low, keep them challenged. Four, five, in, out, two, three, four, five, good, drawing in on the belly. Three more breaths. You've got this. In, two, three, four, five. Knees draw in. Hug it in and rest your head, neck, and chest. All right, bring both knees back to tabletop. We're gonna keep them about hip distance apart or sit bone distance apart. Right here, make sure you're in neutral pelvis, neutral spine, meaning there's a little space between your lower back and the mat. Don't flatten it out, don't imprint. Find that neutral curve. Relax your arms and open your chest and really draw in on your waist like you're wearing a corset. You're gonna reach your right leg out, tap it down and bring it back up. Reach your thigh away from you and pull it back in using your lower abdominals. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Good, so this is all about stability through the midsection. So try to keep everything still and hold that neutral spine. You can do it. Good. Collarbone open, shoulders relaxed, still breathing. Inhale. Good. Reach and in. So it's like a hinge. You're hinging at the hip socket. Sending the thigh away, bringing it back in. Let's go one more to each side. Good, and hug it in just to release your lower back. If you're new to neutral spine, you can get a little tired. Come back down to that same position, but this time glue your legs together. Find neutral spine, a little bit of space between your small and your back. It's harder that way. From here, both legs are gonna lower, both legs raise up. So you may be able to touch the floor, or you may not. The key is to stay strong in your abdominals and no no pulling in your lower back, right? So if you feel a pull, you probably need to make your movement a little bit smaller. It's way more work than it looks like. And good, inhale out, 
Exhale in, collarbone is open, shoulders relax. Four more. Good, two. And one. And hug both knees in. Nice job from here, reach your left leg long down your mat. Hug your right leg in, just get this nice lengthening stretch, really reach out through your straight leg, hug the bent knee in. And switch sides. Good. And both legs come back in. We'll send both legs back out to tabletop. This time they're glued together. Gently grab behind your thighs, curl up, support your head with your hands, and lower your chest back down. Here we come right back up. Lift, lengthen the spine down. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale and inhale. It's important to remember that your flexion point is actually the middle of your rib cage. That's where your abdominals connect at the fifth rib. So fold there and let that help you get nice and high on the tips of your shoulder blades. Four more here. And three. And two. And one. Good. Hug your knees in. Relax here, close your eyes for a second and take a few big breaths. Feeling your ribs expand, your lungs expand. Relaxing your body into the mat. One more breath. Good. Slowly rocking yourself up to seated. You guys are done for the day. I hope you enjoyed this short workout. Be sure to meet me back on the mat tomorrow.